the task that I want to go to today is to pick up the themes that the conference is examining, is how do you get there? Now, we've said towards a low carbon future. We know actually we mean towards a zero net zero carbon future. So that's the story I want to go through. Where do we have to act? How do we collaborate? What kind of policies? And at the end, how do we generate the political will? It is quite remarkable that we have a global agenda. Um, in 2015, we agreed the Sustainable Development Goals in September at the United Nations. And at the end of that year, in December 2015, we agreed the uh, Paris Agreement, the uh, COP21, with the target of holding well below two degrees and best efforts towards 1.5 degrees. I think the biggest difference between Copenhagen in 2009, COP15, and Paris in uh, 2015, COP21, was that understanding that this wasn't a horse race between climate responsibility and rising living standards. Quite the opposite. What we're talking about here is how we can grow in a sustainable, attractive way for the next 40 or 50 years as we try to lift the very large number of people in the world out of poverty. Well, if you're gonna stabilize temperature, you have to stabilize concentrations. So we're gonna to have to cut emissions drastically by using much less uh, energy per unit of output produce that energy in a very uh, different kind of way, and we're gonna to have to find ways of going negative. The infrastructure in that world economy will way over double in the next two decades or so. If we get that wrong, if the next economy coming in alongside the one we have in the next 20 years looks anything like the one we've got now, you can forget about two degrees, probably forget about three degrees. Now, what I want to emphasize here is that the heart of these is sustainable infrastructure. It's absolutely fundamental. You know, if you improve water supply, you make life much better for women and girls. They don't have to go so far. And uh, if you um, improve public transport and reduce air pollution in cities, you boost the employment opportunities of poor people enormously. Poor people travel furthest and they're hit hardest by air pollution. So what we've seen actually, it's been a remarkable change since uh, Copenhagen, is that the emerging market and developing countries are now out in front. China had already become a leader actually, but it's been more explicit in the, uh, in the last year. India, I've already said, is moving uh, tremendously fast. So you've got there a story of country by country around the world. Mexico and its big tax reform introduced uh, a carbon price. You're seeing tremendous movement around the world, great understanding of the growth story, deeper understanding uh, of the policies. We now know that we've got a very good chance, if we're really serious about all this, in realizing this growth story of the future, in meeting the Paris targets. We really can.